Hey everyone, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be all about products that do not make it out of my Sephora cart, my Sephora loves list. This video was recently posted by Talia, I think is how you pronounce her name. I will have her video listed down below. She posted this a few days ago on her YouTube channel and all of a sudden I had so many people requesting on Twitter, on Snapchat, asking me if I would do this video as well and I watched her video and I was like, girl so relatable I understand so that is what today's video is going to be so I hope that you will go and check out her video as well uh, which will be linked in the description box but if you would like to see the products that have been on my Sephora loves list they have made it into my cart sometimes but I just cannot click purchase why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, so one item that has been on my loves list for so long, I know this has made it into my cart at some point too, and I just have never been able to purchase the full size of this, is from Fresh, and it's their Soy Face Cleanser. I really enjoy this face cleanser. I have gone through several mini sizes of it. I actually have a mini size in my skincare project pan that I'm currently working on right now. It's one I love taking traveling with me and I just, for whatever reason, I love that cleanser but I cannot purchase the full size. It's $38, which that is pricey, don't get me wrong, but it's not like extreme pricey like some skincare brands. I don't know, I just can't do it. And what's so funny is that I placed a Sephora order on like Black Friday and you could pick a sample bag and I chose the sample bag strategically. They had a couple different options in there. I chose one that had a mini in there. Boom, got myself another mini for when I finished this up in my project pan. What does that say about me? I don't know, but for some reason, the full size of the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, I don't think it's ever coming home with me. Another item that's been on my loves list for a very long time and I've considered it so many times is the Sephora Collection Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. It's $20 and I don't know, I had this thing for a while that I wanted to try out a bunch of different Sephora Collection makeup products and I've almost done that video so many times. If you guys want to see that video, I don't know, let me know. I haven't tried a ton of items from Sephora Collection but there's a few things that have caught my attention including this foundation stick and I have just not been able to purchase it. $20 is not a bad price for a foundation but I don't know I can't do it it's it, it's not making it off my loves list for whatever reason mm. and then another one from the Sephora collection this is their cream lip stain liquid lipsticks these are $14 I have had these on my loves list for quite some time I've had so many in my cart I was actually at a Sephora store during the VIB sale a couple of weeks ago because I was actually going to return something and then I was walking around the store trying to see if there was anything else I could buy because I still have the 20% I had one of these lipsticks in my hand the entire time walking around the store if you follow me on snapchat I shared a photo of my arm it was covered in lipstick swatches because I was trying to find the perfect one and I had it and I was ready to go and there was a couple other items that I wanted to pick up and they were out of stock of both of them and I was like whatever and I put the lipstick back I don't think it's ever gonna make it I don't know what it is I watched Casey Holmes swatch video of all of the different shades at least three times if not more and actually have like taken notes on the specific lipsticks I want and for some reason I can't do it I can't complete the purchase this next item this next item is probably never coming home with me I don't think I will ever hit purchase on this, but you know what? It's sticking around. It's, it's just going to be on my loves list to remind me, you know, like hashtag goals maybe. Uh, this is from Tom Ford, the bronzer brush. It's $115. Yeah. <clears throat> it's $115 for a brush. I mean... Why is it even on my loves list? This is one that not only has been, it's never been in my cart. Don't, let, let me say that. It has never made it into my cart, but it's been on my loves list several times, but I've actually removed it from my loves list. Like, no girl, you're, you don't even put that on your loves list. And then I've put it back on my loves list. I was like, maybe one day you can justify $115 makeup brush and then I would take it off but it currently is on my loves list right now and it'll probably just stay there forever and look really nice on my loves list and never in my makeup brush collection. Another item that I've had on there for quite some time is from Bite Beauty. It's the Everyday Agave Lip Mask for, I think these are $26. I hear really amazing things and everybody is always recommending the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask to me. And this is another one that I've kind of put on my loves list. I've taken off, I've put it on, I've taken it off. I don't think it's ever actually made it into my cart. I mean, it's pretty pricey for $26. Actually, Talia might have had this one on her 
in her video too. I know we had a couple overlapping ones when I was watching hers and this this might have been on there. It just is kind of pricey and I really love lip masks. I love lip scrubs. I mean, I love lip gels. I, I like it all because I can kind of deal with drier lips because I wear liquid lipsticks a lot. But still, I don't know, $26 has always seemed like a lot. I've actually gotten the sample cards of them and I wanna say I've gotten like two or three. I do use those and I enjoy those and I think they're really nice but I just, I cannot bring myself to purchase the full size. Another item I have on my loves list that again, this is probably never, not even probably, let's just say this is never gonna make it into my cart and into home with me. This is some more skincare. Um, it is from SK2. The one that I've had on my loves list is called the Welcome Kit. I don't know, I, it's a set. I'm really attracted to sets. I, I just feel like they're a good value and a nice way to try like a variety of products. It says that this regimen kit contains SK2's signature products to tone, treat, and moisturize skin. There's the facial treatment clear lotion, which is a skin toner with AHA. Um, there's also the facial, facial treatment essence in SK2's highly awarded bestseller. And there's also the RNA power cream, SK2's bestselling anti-aging face cream. But for all three of these, it's $110. Mm. Mm, that hurts. I remember hearing about SK2, I think for the first time that I was really like, ooh, I should check out that brand, was from Desi Perkins, I wanna say it was. She was using some in her video or she did a skincare video or something, but she was absolutely raving about SK2. And so that's when I went over to Sephora and I looked at it and then I saw the prices and I was like, it hurts, it hurts so bad. But you know what, it sticks around on my loves list, but I don't think it's ever, it's, it's, it's never gonna come off of that. And to keep it rolling, this one's been on my loves list forever. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Every time, and like I have said bum bum cream because that's how it's spelled and people are like it's boom boom and then I say boom boom cream and people are like it's bum bum and I'm like can we just call it a day because we know what we're talking about so like what 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 is going on here this cream I feel like it gets really mixed reviews and for some reason that just like makes me want to try it myself and just you know so I can like put my opinion out into the YouTube world into the YouTube vibes but I feel like everybody has tried it and maybe that's what's getting me maybe it's not just that there's varied opinions but it's like everybody has has an opinion everyone has tried it except for me but it's $45 and it's like oh mm. I love lotions I love body creams I love all of it I've heard it smells really good but it's like $45 I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> um, the next one I have here is from another Sephora collection. This is the Sephora Pro Warm Palette. It's an eyeshadow palette for $68. This palette like haunts me. I know I have mentioned this in past videos where I talked myself into buying it. I talked myself out of it. I talked myself into buying it. I talked myself out of it. And then there's been times where I'm like, definitely getting that and then it's been out of stock it's actually currently out of stock as I'm looking at my loves list right now so there's been that one time that I was like nope doing it out of stock I'm like ooh, is it not meant to be is it not meant to be but Sephora collection came out with these really stinking huge eyeshadow palettes like I don't know a couple months ago or so and people kind of went a little bit crazy for them they have the warm tone the cool tone and then like the editorial one I believe the warm tone definitely reminded me of the Natasha Denona Sunset palette, but it was a little bit cheaper, so I was like trying to decide, do you do it, do you not do it? And again, it's one that like sits on my loves list. I look at it from time to time. <laughs> I just don't know what to do about that one. Alrighty, moving on, I have a lip product here and I thought it was kind of funny. I don't have a ton of lip products that were on my loves list that didn't make it home with me because let's be serious, I buy a lot of them. <laughs> I buy a lot of them. I'm a lipstick addict, but this is one that I do not know if this one will ever come home with me. This is from Hourglass. It's the Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick. These are like the super, super slim, I mean, it says it in the name, but the really slim looking lipsticks, but they are $34. And that is, that's, that's expensive for a regular lipstick, like not even a liquid lipstick, it's just a regular lipstick. So $34, that is quite expensive. They released fairly recently. They're not like a new, new release. And when they did, I was drawn to them. And I even, when I was at Sephora a couple weeks ago during the VIP sale, I picked one up and looked longingly at it and then put it back. It didn't even make it, like I wasn't holding it like I was the Sephora $14 <laughs> lipstick. I didn't walk around the store with it. I picked it up and then I 
and put it right back. So not sure that one will ever make it home for me. If anybody has it, if you absolutely love it, it has good, it looks like it has 4.5 star reviews on Amazon out of 619 reviews. So that's pretty positive. So interesting. Another item on here that's been on my loves list since the beginning of time. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder for $38. Everybody has always raved about this. This is everybody's holy grail. This is everybody's recommended. This is everybody's everything setting powder. And I just have never done it. Uh, I have purchased the Laura Mercier Seeker Brightening Powder. I like uh, kind of brighter under eyes. And that's just kind of been my thing for a while. And I like that one just fine. And so I just never really thought I would need this setting powder. But I don't know. It still stays on my loves list. I've kind of gotten away from setting powders as of recently. I think they're just a little bit too much for me and I typically go for more of like an actual like pressed powder for under my eyes and things like that. So I don't know if this one will ever come home with me, but that one, that one has been on my loves list forever. Another one on here is from Becca. It's the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prismatic Amethyst. It's a highlight, but her highlights are $38. And I know the Becca highlights are fantastic. I own so many of them and I think they are so good. But $38 for one highlight, I'm like, oh, don't know if I can do it. But Prismatic Amethyst has had my attention since it came out. Like, and I think this one is limited edition, but it's a really cool, like, purple, like, iridescent -y, And I just, I want it so bad, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't even do it during the VIB sale at 20% off. So I feel like that says that it's probably never coming home with me. But I like it. It's just, it's just really expensive. Another item, very expensive, is a foundation. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It's a $64 foundation. I have had this one on my loves list, again, forever, especially when I first started watching YouTube videos. I feel like this foundation was super, super popular, and all of the big gurus were wearing it always, like in every single tutorial. Everybody was wearing it or putting it on, raving about it in favorites videos, and I actually got a sample of it once at Sephora, and I mean, this was... I can actually remember like where our guys played slow pitch at and this must have been at least two if not three years ago because they haven't played at those fields in a while and I remember wearing it one night and I looked at myself in the bathroom mirror at these slow pitch fields and I was like <laughs> my face looks fantastic I'm totally buying this foundation I love it and then I went to buy it and it was $64 and I was like <laughs> nope <laughs> out of my cart. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll ever purchase it, but I remember I tried the samples. I wore it several times and I thought it looked really good on my skin, but I haven't been able to, to buy it. So there's my story about that. And then the very last item I have on here is another one from Sephora Collection. This is the Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I feel like some of these are my ones that have been on here the longest. This one has been on here for so, so long. It's $14 if I didn't say that for the concealer. This one went on my loves list because Katie or Luster Lux seemed to love this at one point. I, I love watching her tutorials. I've been watching her for so, so long. Some of my favorites and at, at one point she was continually using this Sephora concealer and I know it wasn't this past time I was at Sephora. It would have been a while, like at least a year ago. I went in and I found it in store and I looked at it and I had it in my hand. I was like, just buy it girl, just buy it. I love concealers and trying out new concealers. But nope, I still, I never was able to actually purchase that one. It just still sits there on my loves list. Like, hey girl, you gonna buy me? And I'm like, maybe later. Not right now. So if anyone's tried that one, do let me know. But that is the last item on my Sephora loves list that I've been on for a while that just have not made it home with me. All right guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing it. I thought it was such a fun and just interesting idea. I had a blast like looking over my loves list and seeing what items have been on there for so long that I just cannot make myself purchase. I would love to know some of yours, of course. And again, the original video will be linked in my description box because I hope that you will go check it out. That was a fantastic idea. Thank you guys so much for tagging me and just being so excited to see me do this video. I appreciate it so much. If you have any other suggestions or ideas for videos, please do leave them in the comment section down below. Those help me out so much. But if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. I hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.